a lot, a lot. It, it's, it's a rarity that I do not use a story. Whether it was is is uh, a nonfiction or it, uh, a real life event, I, I use my own life a lot. Uh, uh, there are some stories like like if I want to if I'm teaching on uh, proper attitude, then I would share the story of the twin boys, you know, and that the the parents of the twin boys wanted to have them examined by a psychiatrist because one of them was an optimist, one of them was a pessimist. And so 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 they they got this psychiatrist, he came up with this bright idea, okay, let's put both of them in a room. The optimist, they put them in a room full of cow manure or just manure. And then in the the pessimist, they put him in the room with the with the the prettiest truck that money could buy, I mean it had colors that uh, we can't even pronounce. <laughs> and so so they went by to look to observe them, and so they look in the pessimist room, and he his countenance was down. So they went into the room and they go, "Son, what's wrong?" And uh, and the pessimist said. It's the wrong color. So they go down to the optimist uh, twin boy room, and he's playing in the manure. So they run in there, son, what's wrong with you? Why are you playing in the manure? And he said to his parents, y'all can't fool me. There got to be a pony somewhere around here. So, so stories of, of, of plays a big part in, in my teaching and preaching.